Hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the fourth process problem A, that is a Nene game. Okay, so Nene invented a new game based on an increasing sequence of integers A1 to AK. So in this game, initially n players are lined up in a row. In each of the rounds of this game, the following happens. Nene finds A1 to AN to AS K player in a row and they are kicked out. Okay, simultaneously. If I players in a row should be kicked out, but there are fewer than I, I players in a row, they are skipped. That is the case. So let's see, like, how can we understand this? <clears throat> so suppose we are given that they will kick out player number 3 and 5 every time. And now suppose you have a player 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, Player 3 is this one and 5 is this one. So these will be kicked out. So now what will be there? 1, 2, 4. Now 3 is there at third index, it is there. But fifth index it is not nothing. So we'll kick out this person. So now how many remaining? This two. Okay. So let's go ahead. <coughs> So, what we have, like, we need to tell how many players will be remaining after every round, after each round or like after all the rounds, we can say. So, we need to tell that. That is the question. But the problem is we don't know how many players are there initially. So, let it be there are n players. So, what they are saying. So, we are given Q queries. That means we are given n people in the starting and we need to tell how many will be winner. That is okay. So let's see the example. So if you see, we have two one that is n and q. So one query, that's it. So we can delete three and five. And we are given five players. The example I've explained. So the answer will be two straight forward because I've already explained that part. Nothing more. Let's see another example for better understanding. Let's say here. So we have 5 and 3. Now we can delete, sorry, 2, 4, 6, 7 and 9. If something like that comes, we will delete that. So let's say, suppose we have one player only. Can we delete? No. So one is the only winner, right? So let's say, suppose we have 1, 2, 3. 3 players. In this case, what will happen? We will delete 2 here, 4, it's not possible. So we will delete this. So it will remain 1 and 3. Now again 2 we can delete. So it will be remaining only 1. Right? So we are getting 1 here. And if we say like we have 5 players, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So what we will delete? We will delete this one this one in the starting so now what will be remaining 1 3 and 5 if this is remaining then we can again delete this one if then we have 1 and 5 we can delete again this one so 1 will be remaining so here answer is 1 so let's see one more better case for a clear understanding <coughs> so let's say we have this example Let's take this one. Okay, let's take this one, this example. So we have mm, two, three. So we are given 69. We will delete 69 player and 96 player. Okay, we can delete these many players. So, but in the starting, we have only one player. So, is that possible to delete that? No, it will be a winner because we are not reaching to 69th index. So, 1 is the answer. Again, we have 10. Then again, 10 is the answer because 10 is smaller than this value. We can't delete that. But suppose, in this case, 100. So, we have some sequence like 1, 2, 3, then 68, 69, and like mm, and 70 and so on, like till 100. What we can delete? 
so there will be some player called 96 here in the vitamin so we can delete this one and this one so there will be shift of index 70 will come here so it will also be deleted so whatever come here it will be deleted that means remaining will be the these many so the answer is 68 here so what the catch like how can we think to solve this so the main thing we need to have the minimum value from the array like from this array k values and we know it is the first one because in the question we are given that it will be a sorted array so the first value so let's say the first value of this is uh, x and it is of let it be vector of 0 okay so this is the case right and then what do you need to do you need to iterate across this q array and what we need to check like suppose i is the value of this array like first is the i okay i equal to 1 or 2 3 4 like i equal to 1 10 or 100 that may be the case so if this i is greater than equal to this x then our answer will be simply i uh, not i x minus 1 if not if else condition if this is not the case then answer will be the i only i the i means the value of q of i if we can call it this q so the q of i so we can say q of i if q is the vector we have considered this then q of i q of i if it is greater than equal to x answer will be x minus 1 otherwise q of i that is a simple solution for this problem so let's see the code for this what we need to do we just need to take the input like k and q take the input and while taking the input i am checking if this particular i is greater than or equal to b of 0 b of 0 is the starting value then answer will be this otherwise answer will be i that's it hope you understood this problem like this video subscribe the channel thank you and keep coding